Let's turn on my computer. What? It with a DS? Oh. I've encountered a problem. So my PC, as you can see, is now lying on its side. I think my power supply fan's gone bad again. It used to be up right here, and the power button was right here. Now, but now the power button's way over there. I know you can get, like, remote power buttons, but, like, it can't be that hard to make. It is just a power button. But I'm thinking about it. What buttons do I own? Bring in this DS. It is... It's... It's not. So this motherboard, which conveniently fell out, this motherboard uh, has been stripped for parts because it no longer worked. I've stolen the... A microphone, I've stolen the headphone jack, and probably more to steal from this, including what I'm gonna steal, this power switch. I'm probably actually gonna keep the power switch in it, so I can put it into that motherboard, and use the original power switch. I wanna turn my computer on with a DS. That's the goal for today. I've got a standing desk, I can just lift the desk up. This is a very comfortable corner. I could take the computer out of this corner, but um, I'm not going to. Well, until I need to anyway, I don't... <laughs> Oh god. Oh, the graphic card in the way for the camera. So, as far as I'm aware, the power button goes down to this corner here. There's a little thing that says push switch. And, um, it, I don't know. So what I'm guessing I can do is I can take that out, replace it with whatever I want to. However, I'm, I'm going to need a power switch connector. Thankfully, over here in this corner, I have this old Windows XP machine that doesn't work. You can see it's got a, uh, We've got a power switch um, and lights into this nice long cable. Okay, random, random part of the floor. What's holding this in? It's like, it's literally just pegs. Snap off. Let's put this button onto him. Moment of truth, moment of truth. Hmm. We got the problem of the fact that this is still connected fully to the brick. Let's see what the first problem of, um, does the buttons work? Or does these, do these work? So if I just take some wire apart, we've got wire strippers. <gasps> we've done it. We've got two wires that can turn on the PC. I really can't actually see the light from that angle. Let's say, man, I never need to use this Windows XP machine, but like, I mean, it's that easy to power on a computer. So it's like, eh, do they really need it? So while I was planning to use some speaker wire, I had links and links of, I couldn't find it, so I found this GameCube controller cable. It's not a good, it's, it's, uh, it's great, it's great quality. So the colors, we've got lots of colors to choose from. We can stick with the red, what was the original cable? Black and red? Yeah, we'll stick with red and white then. Now for safety reasons, I need to ruin the audio in this, uh, shot. This soldering iron wasn't even turned on. Because I'm super smart. Okay, this should now be warm enough. Where's my GameCube cable? To anyone that does like, you know, soldering at a professional hobbyist or knows not to do it standard, please do not uh, criticize me because I don't see you hooking up a Nintendo DS to a PC power switch that you stole from a Windows XP device. SMH. Let go of the solder! Thank you. That came out far worse than the red and pink wire, despite the fact that they're both really bad. But that is horrid. Take, 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 take. I've been tested if this connection works. I hope it does. I don't even know if this is correct, so I'll take to use. Even if it isn't, I don't really care it's what's been holding my DS light. I'm gonna DS TV out together, so shut up. And yes, this will be running across the motherboard, the GPU, power supply maybe. Uh, let's see to make sure this still works. I need the light on the desk to see. All right, let's touch two wires. It worked. I've heard about this thing called flux. Oh, that's getting warm. Now, how do I want to connect this? Because one of these wires needs to connect to that power spot. The other one needs to connect to like some sort of ground. 
Considering that the power switch is itself a ground, I think we can just do that. <laughs> That's connected. <gasps> no, it's not! <laughs> oh, God. Nearly just dragged the soldering iron over my headset. It's fine though, I'm gonna place it in its holding thing over this flammable carpet. Okay, so it's plugged in. Oh no, it may not work. Hang on a minute. That would help. Oh. It's actually that monitor. Ow! <laughs> this is a bulldog clip! Come on, load my generic Windows background. Windows logo. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, then. It's off. <gasps> oh, I may be covering the microphone so the audio may sound really bad, but. <laughs> and you gotta put this in a case. So, here we have it a Nintendo DS that. I'm so good at this. So, here we have it, take two. A Nintendo DS that. Powers on my PC. <laughs> here we go. Windows. And here, there we have it. This this desktop, you're probably all familiar with the content warning clip on it. But like... <laughs> oh. <laughs> And in case you are wondering, yes, I did go and put a nice proper shell on it. Like, you know, you can open it up and, uh, you know, you can see I didn't put in the start and select button because I couldn't find one. It, 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 look, it looks nice. Whoops. Huge thanks to channel members for supporting this channel. If you'd like to support the channel, then like, I don't know. Or just subscribe and like the video and all that other garbage. Um, please don't yell about my soldering. Um, enjoy?